To understand Africa today, one has to understand its long history. Unfortunately, it is a history in which violence is a dominant feature. Africa's relationship to violence, war, and torture spans across time, dating back hundreds of years to a time of slave trade in which African bodies were seen as a commodity. With the advent of colonialism, a process of de-Africanization began as the colonizers felt it was their right to civilize the African according to their standards, disregarding African culture and indigenous knowledge. Thus taking ownership of our land and our body was done with cruelty and violence noted in Africa's stories of massacres, genocides, torture, and systematic elimination of the African identity. Violence begets violence. As Africa's story unfolds, we find that Africa's struggle for liberation reverts back to the call for violence, to enact change, to gain power. With the end of colonial rule and the dawn of independence, we find that the war in Africa is not over. The enemy has a new face, at times a familiar face. Violence continues to be used to exert power over the other, to maintain power over the other, the other which is seen as vulnerable, inferior, powerless. The impact of this on communities of Africa has been a true tragedy. The trauma has left scars both visible and invisible as millions of people are displaced, face poverty and lack of access to basic needs. Children are born in war, haunted by memories of running and hiding, witnessing pain and death, having to leave their homes, unsure whether their family members are dead or alive. This impact of the past on the present is like ghosts lurking in the shadows. Ghosts that continue to impact the psyche of Africa today. As years of trauma has shattered Africa's sense of self, sense of worth and further fragmented us as a people. Today's webinar reflects on this history and the stories of Africa so that we can begin to understand reflecting on the psychological and the social landscape that Africa sits with today, following years of violence and trauma. It is also through these stories that we can remember that we are a people of Africa. We are people of resilience.